In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss Lix, a very nice user-friendly front-end for LaTeX. To use Lix, you have to have the tech software installed. Of course, you should install Lix. And for this tutorial, I'm going to assume you have some knowledge of LaTeX typesetting. If you don't, I'm going to refer you to a tutorial series that I did on LaTeX. Here are some of the topics we'll discuss. So let's begin. This is my Lix editor, and what I'm going to do is go File, New, and it brings up a new document. So I can just begin typing. So I've typed the sentence, force is equal to mass times acceleration. This incidentally is the second paragraph because when you put in a carriage return, it gives you a new paragraph. So let's just typeset this. And to do that, you click this view, or on Mac, I can use the command R. So when I do that, I get this preview. It's titled new file one PDF. But as soon as I save this, and let's save it by doing control S or command S. Okay, so it, as soon as I saved it, if I close this and typeset it again, I get the document. Now the PDF preview has the correct or the updated file name. Intro Lix. Okay. Now let's add inline text. In textbooks, you often see something like this where it says force and they give you the symbol for that. So that's inline math. And the way we do that is we, I added an extra space and I use on Mac command M. So on PC, that's going to be control M. And here I'm just going to type the capital F. So force F is equal to mass. And uh, again, command M or control M for PC times acceleration like that. And I'll change this period to a colon. And now uh, let's just save this and preview it. You can see here my document with the inline math. Let's add a display equation. There it is, I'll save that. And next, let's, let's do a couple more display equations. And one of the nice things about Lix is that you have buttons if you like. And so I'm gonna click this button to get a parentheses group. Here's another nice thing about Lix. It has tab completion. So I'm going to use the frac command to put in here the derivative of position. And so I can do backslash and then FR, and you can see that it is suggesting that we put in the frac command. And so I do that, and then it gives me this, and I can just type DX DT. When you see these purple corners, that tells you that the cursor is inside the equation. So I'm editing in math mode right now. I can hit space bar to leave math mode and now I'm outside of math mode, I can begin typing, but Lix knows that this should be on a new line rather than right next to the equation. So there's the int command, and to get subscripts, you do the underscore, and I did that again. I hit space bar, it takes me out of the first subscript, and I'm actually the second subscript, 
and now I'm in the first subscript, which is the lower limit. I hit spacebar again, it takes me to the main level, but I'm going to get a caret. I'm going to give a caret here that gets me the superscript. And this is how you do Greek characters. You do backslash, and then you can start typing and use tab completion if you like. Spacebar to get out of the parentheses group that I put in, and then D, and then tau again with tab completion. And now let's typeset this or preview it. And you can see the text that I put in. One other thing I'd like to show you is how to add functionality to Lix. So we're going to add some quantum mechanical typesetting. We'll use Dirac's Braquette notation. But this is not part of standard LaTeX. So we have to add a package. And to add packages in Lix, you go to the document menu and you click settings. It brings up this dialog box and you can down, select down to the bottom here and click on LaTeX preamble. And this is where I can put in packages. So this lets, this braquette allows me to use Dirac's braquette notation. And now I can put in a quantum mechanical expression. I, so I use the ket command and I press space and it previews it like that. There's my ket. And let's preview that. So that was a quick introduction to Lix. I showed you some inline math, display math, as well as text, tab completion, and we added a package. I'll also be uploading a tutorial on adding graphics in Lix. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share my video or my channel. Thanks for watching.